We're gonna make rice cakes, and uh, to do that, I've uh, taken out the different uh, things, <laughs> the different things that we need. Uh, we've got this is a very big portion, so you can obviously tone it down to uh, making a, a home-sized portion. But I'm making for eight guys. So we have a kilo of uh, short grain rice for like porridge. Um, then we have uh, two tins of coconut milk, a liter of apple juice, and uh, some water. I'm going to use more water than is in this one, but I'll let you know about that. So that's the base of uh, the rice cake. And then uh, these are the flavors. So we have uh, nice golden yellow raisins, some uh, like soft dried apples, and then uh, brown sugar. And we're going to season it with cinnamon. So it's like a basic apple cinnamon flavored cake. So first of all, first time I add one liter of apple juice, one liter of water, and the two tins of coconut milk. And then we add the rice, whoop, like that. And this is basically the base. So this is what we start by cooking. Usually I just uh, kind of like get the rice wet in the liquid. And um, I turn it on, cover it with a universal lid, the tin foil, bring it to the boil, and then uh, turn it down again. Give it a quick stir. And then we turn it down to a simmer. I have nine as my maximum, so I'm gonna turn it down to two and just leave it and it takes care of itself. Just stir it a bit, you gotta give it a bit of a tension so it doesn't sit in the bottom and start burning. So once in a while you just wanna check in on it. Cover it again and leave it. You wanna like reduce all the liquid in. So it's a nice firm mass that can sit like a bar. So that's what we're waiting for now. This is kind of the texture you want to end up with. And since I want to cook it more, I want to add some more water to it. Just remember, you can always, you can always add more water. It's harder to take it out once it's in. So just gradually, the rice grains will also change, you know, depending on where you buy them, they'll act differently. So just, you know, keep an eye on it. All right, so we've looked at it and uh, I gave it half, half a liter of water before and it needs a little bit more. So we give it the other half. This is a nice porridge here now. Like this is too thick for eating as porridge, but for the rice bars you want it firmer. So we just check. So see, there's no core in it. This is pretty bland right now. There's no salt, no sugar, no nothing. So this is the, this is now we make it fun. Super nice like dried like apple boats. You can also use a cooked apple. Um, fresh apple will oxidize, so you probably have to bake it first. But use any kind of dried fruit that you, you like. So um, again, also this is a pretty cool recipe without measures. Two likings, you know, let's start with that. Um, you can add more later if you think that's necessary. A little bit of dried fruits, like that. And so I just give it a little pinch of salt just to bring out the flavor so that you can kind of like, you know, you want you also want to have a bit of salt to, to keep your liquids in when you're on the bike. So nice brown sugar. Again, obviously this is your energy sauce, but this is also flavor. Like start with two, two and a half spoons of uh, brown sugar. And then basically you just fold it in. And then you can add more if you like it, or you can add less. Um, or keep it the way it is. It's this is this is again up to you however you like it. So this is pretty well mixed now. I'm just gonna leave this there for a second. And we taste it. And remember, with a thing like this, you wanna make it um, a little more sweet um, than you like it when it's warm, because when it cools down, the flavor is gonna be a little less intense. I wanna give it a little bit more salt, and for sure it needs some more sugar. This is a big portion. Um, you can you can cook a big portion and cool them and slice them, um, and wrap them up in cling film in your fridge, and they'll keep um, they'll keep uh, f four days or so. You can also freeze them. So freeze them, and then you know uh, it's easy to just take it out two days uh, before, put it in the fridge, defrost, and then you have your own like nice rice bars. You want to have a tin of some kind. This is a, me, it's just a classic oven tray. Cling film in it. You can use smaller containers, whatever fits in your fridge. You just pour it in. 
Yeah, the whole. And as you can see, I didn't get it mixed quite enough, but you can do the rest in the tin. Just get a scraper for that. And every bit counts. <laughs> so, cool. So then just basically, you can do the, the last bit of mixture here. Just sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on it. And you just work it in there like this. So even it out like this, and then you put it in the fridge. You might want to let it cool down outside the fridge a little bit so you don't heat up everything else in your fridge. Um, I'm going to put it in the freezer now just to quickly cool it down and then move it into the fridge afterwards because I have a big freezer. Like this, all right. And then make sure it's it's even so it doesn't tilt all over. Basically, the, the rice cake has, uh, has cooled down a bit. Um, I've cut it into uh, like strips like this. And when it's completely set so tomorrow, you lift out the strips and you wrap them individually. Leave those in the fridge for whenever you need them. And then you just cut the bars, size the bars you want wrap those in paper and then you're ready to go. You can also put them in the freezer, uh, take them out two days early and then uh, you're all set for a good ride. To, to not rush the rice cakes, it's important that you uh, do the whole procedure the day before, let them cool down overnight uh, to make sure you have a completely firm rice cake that won't, um, won't uh, leak out into your back pocket. So do it the night before and then you'll have actually rice cakes for a whole month if you do a big portion like this. So how did you get kind of into being a chef for a cycling team? Totally by chance, actually. Uh, the right, uh, the right uh, connections being at the right place at the right time.